What's up guys, it's XRAO2X here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a, uh, I don't know what to call it, a patient store. Oh, that, that's pretty cool. Um, so you know, it is kind of like a puzzle, or, oh, that's that's from a previous tutorial. Yeah, this is kind of a puzzle, puzzle door I guess. I don't know, you can use this in your puzzles. You can use this to get in your house too, if you're on some some sort of a server and you want a cool door. So, you know, like, let's say you're in a puzzle map and you're like, oh my god, how can I open this door? Oh my god. So there's a bunch of levers, you know, to distract you, and you turn them all on, off, you try the different combinations, but it doesn't open the door. And then you're like, hmm, there's a, there's a pressure plate here, I bet if I stand on it, it's, it's gonna open the door, so let's stand on it. Huh. Mm, nothing happens. Let's see, what if I... What if I just stand on it for like 10 seconds? I don't know. Let's let's try this. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's not doing anything. That's that's odd. Whoa, whoa, what? What? Oh, weird. Hmm. I had the patience to stand on that pressure plate, and it opened the door. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's that's why I call it a patience door. I guess it's kind of cheesy, whatever. But Basically, here it is. So, starting with the pressure plate. You step on the pressure plate, and uh, you just run redstone through. Now, the redstone will, like, path into two different pathways. One is a straight path to an AND gate. It's just straight redstone. You can put a repeater or two, you know, just to uh, extend the signal. And then the second one is just a bunch of repeaters put together. And I didn't time them in, like, any of them. I just left them on one just because I didn't, you know, for the sake of the video. But you can make these, like, a minute long. So people have to stand on the pressure plate for a minute. And, you know, in the puzzle map, you, that's the last thing you think you're going to do. And if you put, like, levers like this around, it'll just, it's like, it'd be impossible to pass. So basically, you put all these repeaters. Make sure, my number one tip on this would be to make sure you set the repeaters going the right way and don't cross the redstone. That's why, like, I go in here so these redstone doesn't meet that redstone or this redstone. So make sure you uh, you set this up right. Basically, you know, you, you're going, and you set redstone to go to this one, and you set redstone to go to this one, and then you set redstone one less than that one because you don't want them connecting. And then basically go, 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 go. They reach the end, which runs a redstone line into an AND gate, and basically what that means is, um, if let's say you set this for a minute, so uh, if you're standing, you stand on it, and then it counts one minute, and then by the time the minute is over and it goes to the AND gate, if you're still standing on it, which is the direct line, if you're still standing on it after the minute it will basically go through the AND gate. Like, it will say, yes, you're standing on it for a full minute, or, well, you're standing on it at the at the minute mark, and, you know, that's what it means. So, basically, to get through here, you could actually just step on it once. You pretty much wait for it, and then s step on it again, and then step off, and it closes. Like, you don't have to stand there for a full minute, but you have to stand on it the exact same time that the that these go off otherwise the AND gate won't work so it basically goes through an AND gate so you have to stand on it for let's say a minute and like it counts a minute and then it like, goes through there and then you have to stand on it at the minute mark and then it goes through a T flip flop which looks like this there's a torch down there yeah I, I'm not going to explain T flip flop right now if you want to uh a good T flip flop video. Check out Minecraft Workbench. Pretty awesome. But yeah, this is a T flip flop. Basically, what it does is when you send the signal through, it uh, it makes it either um, active or inactive. You know, so it doesn't just go back and forth. So this pretty much like acts like a lever, but you can use it with pretty much anything, like a button or a pressure plate. And then after you get through a T flip flop, you basically just run the signal back to the door. 
So let's say I'm standing on it. And there you go. Door opens. And door closes. Oh, I know. I see. I see it now. All right. So again. Hmm. You're standing on this uh, one pressure plate over here. I don't know. It's kind of kind of suspicious. I guess I'll just stand on it for uh, I don't know what it was like ten seconds. Oh, nothing's happening. That's weird. Oh my God, the door opened. Yeah. So basically, I I think that would be a pretty cool uh, puzzle room for your puzzle maps. And it'd be really hard to get for people because, I mean, if you put distractions in the room, like maybe like redstone torches with levers, people would be trying to like different combinations and it would just take an incredibly long time. And then just one stupid pressure plate, you know, just standing there. And if you set the timer to like one minute, nobody's going to like sit there for one minute because they don't know that it doesn't do anything for a minute. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to show you this. You can use this on puzzle maps or your house, which would be a pretty sneaky way to get in your house because nobody else would know. But uh, yeah, if you like this tutorial, uh, you can like it and comment on it if you want. And uh, thanks for watching. See you.